Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, there was a magnitude 3.3 earthquake. A little deceiving how they put it near Big Bear Lake, California. This was actually um, an area of San Bernardino along the San Andreas Fault Zone. 39 people reported feeling this earthquake. And using Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. We have Angeles Oaks. Mountain Home Village, Forest Falls, um, Oak Glen. Let me bring it out. And over here, we got San Bernardino. How many of the felt reports did they remove? Here we have Los Angeles. Two responses from there. Now, up over here, Angeles Oaks. Sorry for pronouncing it wrong. They had eight responses there. Forest Falls, one response. Uh, Big Bear City, five. Another three from Big Bear Lake. This was a fairly remote area where this earthquake occurred. Now an example. Angeles Oaks, California, back in 2000. Their population was only 312 people. And yet there was eight responses from that location. A paper I found from the city of BigBearLake.com and the seismic hazards, etc. in that location. It says located along one of the most active tectonic boundaries on the globe. The Big Bear area and Southern California region are susceptible to a wide range of hazards associated with geotechnical conditions. Recent studies indicate that far too few earthquakes have occurred in Southern California in the last 200 years to account for the rate of movement between the Pacific and North American plates. The data suggests that the region will be subject to either numerous moderate earthquakes such as the Northridge quake or a few large magnitude 7.2 or larger earthquakes. It goes on to say that earthquakes can cause substantial property damage, the loss of public services and facilities, and loss of life. Strong shaking from an earthquake can result in landslides, ground lurching, structural damage or destruction, and liquefaction, where the ground turns to quicksand. Strong shaking can also set in motion other hazards, including fires. Disruption of essential facilities and systems, water, sewer, gas, electricity, transportation, communication, irrigation and drainage systems, releasing of hazardous materials, and flood inundation as a result of dam or water tank, tank failure. They have here an image of the city limits and the area that are susceptible which of course is in pink, for liquefaction. This area where the earthquake occurred is also called the San Bernardino Fault, or also referred to as the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. Some of the felt reports on EMSC, now this comes from Glen Oaks, nice jolt in Forest Falls, it says. Another one, which was uh, 19 kilometers from where it occurred. Ukaipa, one shake. It wasn't, I wasn't sure if it was an earthquake or not. Felt a quick roll motion by Lake Paris. Earthquakes um, opposite of what they have on the East Coast generally do not travel very far. Um, the wave that people feel them. But as you know, Southern California is way overdue for a large earthquake. And I've talked about this a lot. If the fault line rips, ruptures, going from south to north, it would have a funneling effect on the Los Angeles area, creating more damage than if the fault line decided to fracture from going north to south. So were you in an area that could feel this earthquake? If so, please put it down below. Um, how long did it last? What did it feel like? Uh, did you notice anything moving? Things like that. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.